What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Savage Land. Welcome to another episode of The Field. And today on the field we have Valor versus Bone Collector. Um figure been out for a while now. I actually had this guy um first pre-ordered um before he dropped and then I took him off pre-order cuz it was taking a while to come. And then my first figure from that 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 first wave was Condor. Condor was straight, man. I just I've had stiff legs with him the entire time. I could never really get those legs to loosen up. Um, and this guy was in that first wave, and I thought he would be the same, but I, I he, he wasn't. I did put a little heat on him. But that's all it really took, man. This is actually a, a phenomenal figure uh, right here. Actually, this is the uh, my favorite Valiverse figure. And being that this guy's been out for a while, I don't need to go through an intricate review, which I really don't anyway i just gloat over these figures to be honest with you and i love doing that that's what my reviews are about but this guy um he's better than uh than advertised i would say and everybody has a problem with his face scope i think it's i think it's pretty decent man um it's better than a lot of other valiverse face scopes but i like to uh display him with his uh bone collector mask on i think he looks very deviant with that mask i think it's very imposing and uh I think I just I just think it sets him apart from the other figures that he actually has a mask like that. Um, he is the most seamlessly uh, figure you can put in uh, GI Joe. I hope I said that right. Like he's seamless. Like you can add him in GI Joe and it looks like he belongs there. And that's uh, what this review is basically about. How good of a character design this guy is. Um, and then parts like his sculpt awesome paint awesome you can see the silver hints popping out through the uh through the elmo holster through the holster for the gun the chrome 45 that shit is sick and then you see like the little pits dents on his uh vest his armor and even like the under of the armor it almost looks like that leathery type material like a padding up under it just it looks good man they did a great job on the character design and the bone mask uh with the wash and it fits on his head perfect like you don't have to worry about that thing falling off that is going to stay that is a, a a great design like i said i like to display him like that um he easily can fit in with shadow tracker dreadnoughts croc master and just like he belongs there man what a great character design great character like i said one of one of my favorites and segueing segue into that, um, as you can see, he's standing here with Zartan, uh, Zarana, and Pandora. And uh, they all look great together. They really do. And Zartan is a lot beefier uh, than what I thought. He's a great looking figure too. I really never really had time to uh, sit down and appreciate him. Because he came in a time at the beginning of G.I. Joe when I was collecting, which I already had figures. But uh, I was just just collecting, just grabbing, grabbing stuff. And what a great figure he is. And Zartan, I actually like to display without his hood on. I think he looks more menacing uh, without that hood. And as you can see here, Bone Collector comes with, uh, and I don't know, it could be an M6, M4 rifle with a smoker on the bottom, grenade launcher. Uh, pretty much the same rifle that comes with the, uh, the Steel Brigade that they have. But I love that. That's one of my uh, favorite Valiverse rifles. Looks like it has the, like, the grenade launcher on the bottom. And the G.I. Joe blast effects are a little bit better to me than the Valiverse. Especially the stack on add-on. But it's cool that they fit in the Valiverse weapons. Making those two worlds even more compatible. But I'm glad I picked this guy up. Definitely uh, when it comes around I'll definitely be picking up another one of these i usually pick up uh two men on car for the figures i like so i definitely will be getting a men on car to bone collector um as far as Karak, uh i kind of wanted him but i think i'm all right i might just i think i'm gonna hold off on him really i wanted bone collector that, that was the apple of my eye especially with valiverse coming out with the new uh troop builders i got plenty to buy on their side um, but this uh this bone collector man he, he he's definitely on point and he looks good um just accessorized god bless the uh the punisher bike um but he looks good sitting on that and 
And like I said, with that face sculpt, he looks really good. He actually looks like Tony from uh, uh, the Valiverse team and stuff, man. But that, that's a good face sculpt. I, I, would, I wouldn't say that's, that's a bad face sculpt. But he just sits just like nothing on that bike. And that shows you how great he articulates and how great uh, Valiverse articulate. No gaps under his butt. And anytime you take a picture, that's what you want that to do. You want that butt to sit flat on that bike like it was real. And uh, like I said, he was put together quite well. See here, I got him in the pick with Croc Master. And uh, like I said, he's just he's just one of the boys, man. He, he'll he'll mix and match into any GI Joe scene uh, you want to do. And I, of course, I had to break out the Mattel Jurassic Park. Uh, Raptors, man, what a what a great uh, series line that was. I'm sorry to get off subject, but Mattel, I I, I like the Amber collection. Uh, I knew it was only so far they could go with as far as size until it got crazy. But those Raptors that they were making and all those mid-sized dinosaurs, dope, dope. They switched back to the smaller scale now, but I've got a few of those. But that Amber collection, I really, really was digging that, man. I thought those uh, dinosaurs were put together quite well. But getting back uh, to the Punisher bike, uh, I'm glad I picked these things up. I, I was picking those things up uh, when they were like 20 bucks a piece on eBay, $22. People were separating the packs. And uh, what a great, great, great bike. But definitely be getting picking up some more uh, Valiverse, man. Like I said, I, I know how I want to go with Valiverse, and it's just really plug and play great line man great line and uh shout out to bobby valor um and the valiverse team for keep pushing on um in, in this action for uh a figure uh canvas man and uh there when you when you when you really care about something it shows it shows now of course where they have problems and things of that nature every company does uh please don't let people fool you saying just one company or the other is better than the other they're all the same they're here to manufacture toys and of course make money of course make money nobody's personally your friend even though people can be friendly but if you have a business out there you're out to make money and that's what it's about not you can't go on and i'm not defending uh, either or on, on either company that's just the harsh reality of things but i really enjoyed myself with this bone collector figure i recommend anybody who was interested in it or missed out on this figure to please pick him up he is dope he's fantastic um this is a savage land we do this for the love and beauty of action figures valiverse especially the bone collector if you can give me a like comment subscribe and with that being said until the next time god bless